Welcome everybody to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. And this is a video where I force my girlfriend <laughs> to react to every single JoJo opening. Except for the last one. There's I know there's a variant for the last part of part five. I haven't finished part five yet, even though I have a full-on Jotaro <laughs> cosplay that I made by hand with her help. <laughs> uh, I still haven't finished part five, so I'm not. we're not gonna watch the final, final one where it's like a variant on the final opening, but we're gonna watch every single other one. And also, the, uh, the there's a dance mix for part four. Anyway, we're gonna watch all of them. You haven't seen JoJo, right? What's your ex what's been your experience with JoJo oh, so far? My experience with JoJo almost stabbing myself in an, in the <laughs> eye with a needle while sewing a piece of plastic into, into the, the collar. collar. Cuz this thing's it's plastic, but it's still heavy enough for that claw doesn't work. Um you're using your sewing machine my, and then it snapped. Yeah, it snapped <laughs> and literally I think it like hit me in the face or something, I forget. And like the cheek. Yeah, maybe. it like hit me like around here. I think it just like and I was like, hmm. <laughs> My other experience with JoJo has been a fight with, but it was Shaggy fighting like oh. the villain of the show. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. And listening to some of the songs in the car. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because I listen to the songs all the time. But you haven't seen, you haven't seen. Maybe you've seen one or two of them. Maybe I've passing. seen one of the clips in like yeah. the best whatever best anime best openings, openings of all yeah. time, where they show like five seconds. But you, you largely you haven't seen. No. You haven't sat through this and wa actually watched the opening. So we're gonna get right into this opening reaction. Hope you guys like this video if only for my costume i hope that you like it because she almost lost her eye over it uh but we hope you like the video hope you like our reaction to all of the openings in jojo let's go oh shit yeah so this is set in like Old England okay. for the first part. Yeah, the show, I think you've seen the show, but it doesn't look like this. I haven't, really. Oh, you haven't at all? It doesn't look like that. Okay. It's just for the opening? Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some Very of the openings. Very different already from the last yeah, opening. Yeah, so now it's gone to, like, the next JoJo, because it's, like, an anthology series about the about this family. And now it's, like, World War II times, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see from the aesthetics of this that it is clearly World War II right now. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, but there was literally a Nazi there doing the Nazi salute oh. <laughs> in, like, the middle. Kind of weird. For some reason, everybody loves the Nazi character in this. They're just super big fans. <laughs> Ooh. It's, like, the same design as the belt for this outfit. Yeah. There are a lot of, like, sort of motifs, and, like, that sort of, those triangles are yeah. kind of one of them. This is 
part. This is the start of part three. So that's part one. Jojo, Jo. Uh, fuck, why am I blanking on their names? And then Jotaro. Jonathan, and then Joseph, and then Jojo. I don't know why I forgot that. Okay. He's back. Kind of like traveling around. Yeah. Seems a bit more chill. Now they all have like these characters attached to them. Mm -hmm. Is that not a thing in the first two seasons? No. Oh. Completely, they compl at the start of this part, they completely changed the power system 100%. Okay. Yeah. It's a completely separate thing. It has nothing to do with how they fight in the first two. Okay, time for the best one. My favorite. You've heard this song a lot, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. So good. So yeah, they're like traveling across the world to fucking Egypt. Hmm. And now they finally made it. I, End of the world. I had this song bow, stuck bow, in my bow, head bow, for like three days one time. <laughs> Same one, but it's like the variant. Okay. Oh, they didn't have, they don't have the sound effects in this one. Sometimes when they do like the final of the season or the mm. finale of the season, they have like a sound effects version where like you can hear the clock ticking and everything. Oh, that's really. And cool. like the wind swishing around, and they like make it a part of it. And all the things going past are like different enemies that they fight throughout. Because oh, okay. like it's such a long journey that they fight like his the guy's minions along the way. It's so fucking cool. What do you think of that one? That was pretty cool. That's my favorite one. Oh, and then... I think this would be your favorite part if we watched the show. And then this is that's the end of like the 3D openings. Oh, okay. And then the rest of them are all in the style of the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then that's 
Josuke. Crazy noisy bizarre town. And he's still there, but now he's older. That's a really good one. Yeah, part four is my favorite, but uh, Jotaro is my favorite JoJo, for anybody wondering. And then this is, they had this for like two or three episodes, I think. Mm. Not very long, but it's just a different variant of the, of the song. It's not like uh, it's not like the last one where there's crazy shit. But. Oh, okay. But it is updated with the story, I think. You'll see. And this takes place in 99. Okay. Same year you were born. <laughs> Yeah, this is way more slice of life. Instead of it being like a huge journey where they're going to like fight a big bad, it's all about like a bunch of little things that happen in this town in Japan. Right. And they're like all just high school kids. And they like meet other people who have like superpowers around the town basically. Get all up to a bunch of hijinks. Oh, and this one's hardcore. the edgiest by far way more like anime style <laughs> he's also one of my favorite characters he's like a manga artist that lives in the town <laughs> There's a compilation of the JoJo openings, and it just cuts out every every time they say English words, <laughs> and that's like 90% of the video. Oh, this one's so good. This is where, like, sort of the plot line takes hold, and it's not, like, random shit. Okay. Jojo poses! <laughs> show is so magical okay oh oh yeah there's a variant on this one kind of creepy yeah <laughs> Joy of love, give you an answer. 
I wasn't crazy about this one when I first saw it, but it's one of those ones that really grows on you. What'd you think of Part 4's openings? I liked them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm just trying to pay attention. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, a stand doesn't need to be a person-looking thing. Okay. It, it, it can, can be fucking anything. Yeah, a literal airplane? It could be- there were, there's one that's a fucking boat. A literal boat. There's one that's a, a power- Is that effective? There's one that's a power tower. Well, like, like a- A boat? Yeah, like a cruise ship. Oh. Like, they can be anything. They could be fucking anything. It's basically a manifestation of, like, your soul. Okay, so it's like a Patronus. But yeah, like... exa actually exactly like okay, a Patronus. Okay. Except they each have their own like special powers. Okay. Depending on the person. I've only seen this for like a couple episodes. I'm not that far into the second half of part five. It's gonna be the last one we watch, I think. violent <laughs> yeah we'll talk about it after but there's a lot of body horror in this uh show like dismemberment in weird ways because the artist really likes to draw characters in like really weird physical position that's why he poses people and like hmm. there's one character who stand he can turn people into a book but like their skin peels into pages like you can see it open up and then he can write things in there like commands that they can or can't do like he'll he'll use it and then somebody he'll write like cannot harm this person or cannot harm this name this name so That's he makes it so people can't hurt him really weird. That's where we're gonna stop it because I haven't seen the rest of them. Yaddy, yaddy. So what do you think? <laughs> so cringy. All right. Uh, what do you think of uh, of the JoJo openings? Which one do you have a favorite one? Um, I think my favorite one was the variation of that that one in part four that I said I really this liked. One? No, the other. I mean, one. part three, the three oh, D one. No. Oh, the, oh, this oh, one. Yeah, uh, crazy, noisy, bizarre town. The da the EDM version. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. I think that's like I I don't think people hate that one just because the actual opening's really good, but I think a lot of people prefer the first song. Hmm. Uh, from what I, I understand. liked, I liked both of those, but I did like the second version better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. What was your least? Do you have a least favorite? I think my least favorite. I'm sorry, I don't yeah, really yeah, know what the... uh, what ones are what here. You want it full screen so it's easier to see. Yeah, yeah. this is the one. Fighting gold. <laughs> okay, this guy reminds me of Rock Lee. Because <laughs> the bull cut? Yeah. He's actually like a capo. He's a fucking mob boss. Or like a mob captain. I think... That's the thing. In part five, it's all fucking uh, mafioso. Like they're all in okay. in, in actually in actual Italy as like uh, gangsters. 
I think this is Fighting the second and last one. Go- like the one with the Looney Tunes background. I can't tell if this one or the one after this was my least favorite. For me, for me, the last one is definitely my least favorite. But it's also because, like I said, I haven't finished part five. So, like, mm-hmm. I haven't seen the variant on it of, like... Because I know that there's at least one, if not two, like, changes to the final opening. And by the way, if you're across this channel, obviously, if you're coming across this just for JoJo openings and you're going to ask us to react to the show... We are going to get into it eventually, but we have some stuff on our list ahead of that. I've seen most of the show, obviously, I've said it multiple times at this point. I've seen most of part five, not all of it. I'm gonna, I've stopped for a while, but now I'm not gonna tr- finish it until we start reacting to it. Uh, and Lindsay hasn't seen it all. So we are going to react, react to it eventually, but not within the next, like, month or two. It'll probably be later that we'll start yeah. posting that. So in the next couple months, in the, in the relatively near future, we will, we will start watch, watching uh, JoJo. So don't fear. But we got other stuff to get to. Yeah, the 3D openings, they were okay. You didn't like them? Like, I, I like them, but, like, I don't know. You're not it a big looks, fan of I'm 3D. I'm not a big fa- fan of 3D, like, regardless. Like, whether it's good or bad, it this kind like, of unsettles me. This is, like, stellar 3D, though. This, by the way, is what people thought Berserk 2016 was going, was going to, to be. Like... Or that this is their hope, because they saw the 3D trailers and were like, I, I mean... Maybe it'll be like Jojo. Like, if it's like the Jojo openings, I'll actually be happy. And I would be happy, too. Like, if Jojo or if Berserk looked like these fucking openings. But that's impossible. Because, like, especially the second one, Bloody Stream, with all the bright colors and everything. If you pay attention, I'm just going to play back just, like, around the start. Look at the backgrounds and how fucking much they're, like, yeah. flying around. Like, there's so much effort right here. Everything opens up and it's, like, lines. It's absolutely, inf- like, incredible. The amount of detail that just went into, like, that three-second, all the backgrounds when jo- when uh, Joseph's, like, kicking around and doing, like, fighting moves and shadow boxing and stuff. It's insane, the level of detail that goes into these three openings, because they, uh, they blend it. They don't just, if you can see, most of the backgrounds are usually 2D, and uh, it's all cel-shaded in a really good way. Like, they clearly were willing to take liberties with the style uh, from the manga and from the show itself in order to enhance 3D. And I forget, I think it was, um, it might have been Nerdwriter or somebody. I forget who. Somebody made an analysis, like, years ago about 2D versus 3D and how, um, and why anime, it, I probably wasn't Nerdwriter, how, why anime, like, when it's in 3D looks so much worse than, like, Pixar. Mm. It's because Disney and Pixar started from scratch they weren't trying to like Take replicate yeah. a style that only works in 2d and move it to 3d so like but in this case they sort of walk that line and i think it really works yeah. out yeah i don't mind it i definitely don't mind it it's like yeah like you said uh, a million times better than berserk oh yeah or like even like pretty much anything else but it's just an opening like if the entire show was like this yeah I don't know if I would be able to watch it because, like, it's I don't a know. Crazy. I don't find it like I don't find it like ugly or like necessarily unpleasing unless it's really bad, like in Naruto or something where they use some like really horrible three D as a background. <laughs> but it's not necessarily like the aesthetic of it. It's like I find it really distracting. Like mm. when everything is sort of like whatever, like moving and like I don't know. It, I I just it makes me a little bit like <laughs> dizzy or like confused. Yeah, it's definitely, it's it's under, it's different, and I think I would have been with you if I rated them, like, when I first started watching the show. Because, like, the first one, I really wasn't that into when the show was going on, but I wasn't really into the series at all, or appreciated the series very much until I got to part three. Mm-hmm. Um, and once I finished part three, it was like, this is fucking genius. But a lot of people get hooked earlier in the series. But yeah, I, I, I would have been with you. Like, the, the 3D early on, before you have, like, a, a, a sense of context for everything that they're yeah. depicting... And the amount of detail, like, just the wall of, like, when um, Jonathan's gonna walk up the stairs to meet Dio, the wall is, like, all covered in different letters and, like, the typography from the manga and everything. Like, it's just, I, I can't I can't say enough how incredible these openings are. But if you aren't, like, looking at it super critically and you're just kind of, like, a, not somebody who doesn't even know the series, yeah, I can see why you'd just be like, uh, I mean, it's good, but, I don't know, it's not very enjoyable or at least, I don't know, pleasing to the eye. 
Yeah, like these ones, like to like the part four I don't know. ones. Yeah, the part four ones. I I like the part four ones specifically because they seem well, actually, kind of like the second opening. They seem to like put together like the dark colors that like the characters are often wearing and sort of the aesthetic that seems to be like the buildings or whatever in the place and put it with like bright colored backgrounds and like sort of like neon Mm -hmm. lights and stuff i don't know that looks really cool to me i mean i don't know anything about the show so like i can't say about like the tone or whatever but like like this looks way more cool when they're all at the then like well actually days. that looks pretty cool but like more cool than like this where the background is like the same colors as what they're wearing mm-hmm. and they don't really stand out and i mean since i haven't seen the show i don't know maybe there's like a darker mood it seems like there there might be but i don't know mm-hmm. going without character or story context of yeah. any kind it's hard to react to openings without or at least give a I like the, the I it kind of disturbed me but the variation of that opening where it was all like going in reverse mm-hmm. was really cool yeah but uh at the same time unsettling when it made like weird noises I was like mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah the ver- that's something that Jojo does well that I'll, I wish a lot more series would do and some series do change up their openings like they'll update it with a story like an angel beats every mm-hmm. episode has like the opening for each episode has there's a part in the song where it has like flashes forward to what's going to happen in the episode without spoiling it um but what this show just knocks out of the park with like and if we were watching it in context like with the show you'd be way more like amazed by what's happening obviously Mm because you know you don't really know what's going on but like it's just crazy when you're so into the show especially if you're binging it and you're just seeing the same opening same opening and you're like and then something crazy and different you're getting to the end of the series and you're just like I've been skipping the opening a couple times, but you know what? I, I might. I, I'm actually starting to like it, and I want to enjoy it as much as I can before the show's over. And then you just get hit, like knocked right over, with like the crazy shit that happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I really like that. I really like when there's like changes, and I like that in these ones. It's like a bit more noticeable than like in some other shows, like in Naruto. In the second opening, you noticed that there was, like, a slight change. An update change, in animation, yeah. But, like, I would never have noticed that. But with these, it's a bit more obvious and a bit more cool, I yeah. think. Like, it, it really sort of... You're not just watching the same thing, but with, like, the slightest little difference that is only for, like, one second. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish more shows would do that. But at the same time, if it's, like, an opening that you really like, and then it just gets changed, you'd kind of be like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how I felt in this when uh, it got around to the dance version, the one that you really liked. Mm. I was just like, oh, I was getting, I was really getting into this last opening. Oh yeah, those weird, those things are really creepy. They kind of remind me of like the baby humans. Oh yeah, from NHK. (laughs) Yeah. Sex pistols. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing about JoJo. All of well, from a certain point onward, all of the names of like the stands or like the stand they're they're called stands i think as they like stand in for you in a fight but they all they're all named after music groups like western music groups from the 60s 70s and then onward i guess nice. so these guys are the sex pistols <laughs> and they like a guy has a gun and then he shoots and then these guys like direct the bullet around corners and like hmm. in weird ways and shit it's pretty cool but yeah i was very surprised to find out that the stands weren't a thing the entire time cuz i thought that, that was like the entire point Nope. Of the show. <laughs> nope, nope. Yeah, the first the first two parts is it, they have a power system very similar to like chakra sort. Mm-hmm. No, well, chakra, not quite chakra. It's like chi sort of like it, it's like it's inner energy that is like it. I won't go into exactly what it is, especially if you're gonna watch the series. But basically, it makes you stronger. It makes you like manipulate objects in in different ways. You can like like there's one point where a guy's eating spaghetti. He doesn't like this guy across the room, so he you he puts like a bit of his power into it and it straightens out almost like a knife and then like i don't know throws them at him or there's a bunch they could do a bunch of crazy shit with it and it's not it's kind of unlike any other power system but it started to run into the same problem as uh something like dragon ball z where the enemies just started getting more and more powerful so then they just had to keep one-upping each other in the same way and like can i punch harder i can i'll whatever hold my breath longer or i'll uh I just need to be stronger. And it was sort of going in that direction. So then at the end of part two, there was kind of a breaking point in the series where he was, where the writer was just like, 
you know what, fuck this. I can see where this is going, and Dragon Ball was actually coming out at the same time, mm. manga-wise. So he was just sort of like, fuck this, I see where this is going, I don't want to get caught in the same trap that I already see myself falling into, where everybody's just stronger than the last, and etc. So I'm going to just create a completely separate power system, fuck all the old shit, now it's all about these guys who have specific powers, and it's all strategic and tactical, and it's actually, like, all the fights are interesting because some powers might be better, some powers might be worse, but in the end it's how they how apply them, them and how everything unfolds in the battle. Um, so there's a lot more strategy involved, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did, I think my favorite of the 3D openings is the second one. Oh yeah, the bright one? Yeah. Yeah. Bloody stream. That's pretty yeah, cool. that's a lot of people's favorite for, for the 3D ones. No, I was going to say my favorite, but it's not. But what, what the most catchy song is that song that you play all the time <laughs> that I had stuck in my head for, like, multiple days. Yeah. I don't remember what one it was. It was the, the fourth opening, the last three. Yeah. One. But the interesting thing about that is each of the... So, like, the first 3D one for part one, then the second opening for part two, third opening, uh, which is the first one for part three, and then that one is the fourth opening for... Uh, and, and the second half of part three. And they take the singers from each of the three previous ones, because mm -hmm. they were all different singers, and they all collab. So, like, there's three different singers in that one. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's actually pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And the the artist name for it, I think, is Joe Stars. <laughs> yeah. Because the last name of all the, the family in this is Joe Star. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's Jonathan Joe Star, Joseph Joe Star, etc. Anything else you want to say? The first one had, like, a very, like, gothic vibe yeah. to it. And then, like, the, it, it's just funny how, like, the first one was <laughs> like that, and then the second one was just like, yeah, colors, yeah. It looks but like it's, it's World out of War the 80s. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's 80s, but and then you're like, it's set in World War II, and I'm like, okay? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it is, it's crazy how everything evolves, and there's a lot of reasons for that, because, and, like, if you watch the, especially the first three parts... But particularly the first one, they're all the guys are like super ripped and buff and crazy giant. It's because at the time it was all like uh, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm. uh, Fist of the North Star was huge. Like all these, there was, it's all based on like the 80s action hero. Um, and that was like the image of a badass. Yeah. So that was what all the main characters for manga at this time were. And then as it goes along, as it's being written for like the last whatever 30 plus years at this point, the characters get more slim and like the physiques change. And even when the when the artist draws the older he characters, changes he changes their their physique to match just because his style evolved. So yeah. then it's not just his tastes or the tastes of everyone else. It's just when he pictures the character and tries to draw them, his style has changed, and the way that his he draws things has changed so much that, like, he yeah. he can't really draw them the way that he used to draw them. It's, they're just completely different. We hope you guys enjoyed this reaction uh, to all the JoJo openings. Hope you enjoyed our little discussion at the end. And uh, I don't even know how this is going to go up on YouTube, honestly, as far as copyright, because <laughs> we were literally just listening to music and watching the video un uninterrupted. But we'll try to get it to you as soon as possible. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you check out our previous reactions. We got a bunch of other stuff. We got Naruto. We got Tower of God that's airing right now. We also got Kaguya-sama that's airing right now. Gleipnir that's airing right now. And we're watching Angel Beats as well. You can check out our schedule on our channel to figure out when that's all posted. Uh, for all you JoJo fans out there, we will be re reacting to it, but unfortunately not in the near future because we got other stuff we got to get to before then. Uh, but eventually we will react to this, but we got a bunch of stuff on our channel we might, you might like in the meantime. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And we'll see you in the next one.